Cheers, everybody. Welcome to this absolutely cold and chaotic Wednesday morning for coffee time. Um, here in Texas, we are in a massive blizzard. I know that that is something that's laughable to a lot of people in the world, especially northerners who get snow all the time. Here in Texas, uh, it's kind of rare, um, but low temperatures are even rarer, and we're down to about zero degrees here where I live. Um, we have a nice layer of snow, and we're expecting a lot more snow tonight. Um, and we're doing rolling blackouts. So every once in a while, you're going to hear this little beep, beep. Um, and that is our fire alarms. Our fire alarms um, will go off when the power goes off, and they've depleted their battery, and we've disconnected a lot from uh, the main breaker and, and stuff like that because, there you go, we're having these rolling um, blackouts. And so we just don't have the ability to get to town to get new batteries for them um, because the blackouts are so consistent um, and the roads are so bad. So we're dealing with the little beep every once in a while. And you may notice that yesterday, uh, Monday and Tuesday's videos seemed a little bit more uh, archaic, almost less quality. Um, they are pre... That we have a, a group of videos of um, whiskeys and, and oddities that we have done that have been uh, uh, kind of in a bank for um, letting us have uh, some stuff just in case something happens, somebody gets sick, you know, with COVID and everything, or travel or whatever. So we have a, a number, about a dozen episodes in the bank, and we've been holding on to them. And since we filmed those, we've done a lot to restore um, the original quality of the videos that we've been producing. If you've noticed, there's been a tremendous um, difference between videos from a few weeks ago to current videos um, because <clears throat> of lighting issues, um, camera adjustment issues, and just all sorts of things. We've had to get a new mic. And so the videos that you're watching today are of better quality. Um, higher resolution, better lighting in most cases. Um, we're still struggling with that lighting thing. Then all the videos that you watched on Monday or Tuesday, or you will watch on Thursday and, um, yeah, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays are banked videos. Um, today we're doing coffee time and Friday we'll do a cocktail and <clears throat> hopefully Cody can make it up. Haven't seen much of Cody or Andy because of the blizzard. Um, they're staying hunkered down in their own homes, um, trying to stay warm. And we haven't seen Alex in about two weeks because of weather and all sorts of other things. <clears throat> so hopefully that catches you up. I hope you guys are all staying warm. I Apparently this cold snap is um, blizzard warning is nationwide except for a couple places and so everybody's um, really cold and, and whatnot. But here in Texas these rolling blackouts are um, quite bothersome and a lot of my friends have been without power for a couple days so we're pretty lucky our blackout occurs every three or four hours for about an hour it just so happens i was trying to put off filming until the blackout a blackout ended and then i'd have uninterrupted and we never got it it was delayed and so i was like well maybe they're over the second i turn my mic on and press record up there it happens and so we waited an hour um it just ended a few minutes ago <clears throat> so uh Hopefully, we got some time to finish this video. Unfortunately, my coffee's a little bit cold because there's no power to the coffee pot for about 40 minutes. But it's pretty hot because it just ended when the power occurred. Uh, so, and by the way, we're doing fine. We have a fireplace and plenty of uh, wood, and we also have um, oil lamps if needed. So during night, we can see and we can stay warm by the fire. So all of us in uh, this household um, is doing fine. Uh, the bar is getting a little cold and then it'll get warm. So I guess the uh, barrel age stuff that we're testing is going to look really good because of that fluctuation of the cold. But So let's get to coffee time. What better coffee than an Alaskan coffee? Let's go back to Alaska. We, I, I thought we were almost done, but we have two more I found, or three more counting this one that I found um, kind of stashed away. So two more Kaladi Brothers. We've done Kaladi Brothers before, um, but we got two more Kaladi Brothers and then one more uh, Conscious Coffee, which I'm not sure where those beans come from. And we discussed with Kaladi Brothers, this is a small um, 
kind of uh, Starbucks. I, I hate to refer to them as Starbucks because they're not. They're they're better than Starbucks. So Claudia Brothers, if you're watching this, you guys are better than Starbucks. Uh, they they're just a group of friends that got together. Um, Kaladi Brothers means they're they're not brothers. There's just their name. It's a group of friends that got together and um, <clears throat> after kind of seeing uh, the coffee craze in Seattle back in the 90s, and they decided to open up a um, coffee business where they roast their own beans and they they mostly do espresso, but they do lots of coffee. And they've grown to be um, a pretty big deal up in uh, Alaska. They got um, Southern Alaska, so Wasilla and uh, Anchorage. Uh, not the not the chain, but you know proper. So they uh, they roast all their own beans and do different types of grains um, from different kinds of beans from all over uh, Latin America and Africa. But they never really specify in anywhere that I can see. So if Claudia, if you're watching this, go ahead and drop us a message and tell us what kind. They don't really specify their bean, whether it's an Arabica uh, or Robusta bean. Um, not sure what they're using. I would say, based off of the smell and uh, aroma and the taste, that it's an Arabica. I'm still kind of getting the feel of coffee beans uh, after all of these episodes. Uh, but it seems like it's uh, more of a Arabica bean. Uh, don't know if they actually sell ground. Everything is whole bean, which is good because they pretty much grind their beans right there in front of your face before they make your coffee at their places. Um, that's their business. And uh, you can buy these online and purchase them. This is the Kaladi Brothers. I don't know online what this would be. It's probably their Red Goat or their Kaladi Brothers uh, coffee or cafe blend. But this is the Snow City Cafe blend. So Snow City is a little tiny uh, uh, cafe in Anchorage. Um, I've eaten there a couple times when I've gone up and they're they're pretty pretty darn good. They got some really cool um, breakfast there. I've never had lunch or dinner, but pretty cool breakfasts. Pretty popular um, and it's a pastry and coffee shop as well. And they have their own blend of uh, Kaladi Brothers. I don't know if it's their own blend. They just got their name on it. So I don't actually know which blend this is. I'm going to say it's the Red Goat, which is probably one of their most popular. Um, coffee blends or their um, Kaladi Brothers coffee or cafe blend. Uh, it runs about $15. Um, not too bad for a um, craft type coffee. Uh, pretty average actually. So if you can get it online and have it shipped to you. Uh, I think they actually have a shipping center out of Seattle. So that's in the lower 48. So if you're in the lower 48, it might not be cheap or as expensive on shipping as if you get it from Alaska. Uh, but it's uh, it's a nice, rich, earthy uh, bean. It grinds really easy. It's got that nice coffee, um, earthy, dirt, um, kind of chocolate smell to it. A little bit of flowery essence, but not much. But it smells like... This is a really good early morning breakfast coffee. I did a, it's got a nice richness to it. I did a really um, fine grind, not espresso grind, not espresso grind, but a finer grind. I'm learning my whole grinding technique. And so usually I ground it, uh, the coffee, and it was kind of coarse ground and a lot of chunks in it. And it just didn't make as good a coffee. And so over the course of the past, you know, six months that we've been doing this i've learned how to grind my coffee much better i added about four of my coffee scoops so that's probably about six six or seven um tablespoons maybe eight tablespoons for a 12 cup pot i chose to do this in a drip pot um, because many of us are going to share this in this cold weather rather than do a press pot or a uh, mocha pot so um, I could have ground it a much um, finer for the mocha pot and I chose um, that's what I usually do in the afternoon it's afternoon when I'm filming this uh, but I chose to make a full pot just for uh, others to enjoy it's not as hot as I want to because we had that 40 minute gap 
of no electricity, but um, I would definitely like to have this hot. Don't really need any creamer to it. It's got a nice, rich, bold taste, um, like a, those essence of chocolate and um, kind of a, I don't know, uh, an earthy coffee taste to it. Really good. Super smooth. No bitterness. This is something that I really like about Kaladi Brothers is a lot of um, craft coffee that you get has a little bit of bitterness. And so an old military trick I learned uh, back in the Navy is to get rid of that bitter. You could put like eggshells in there or what I like to do is a couple shakes of salt and that gets rid of the bitterness. Don't have to do with this um, to this Kaladi Brothers. It's pretty much perfect the way it is. So uh, we do have two more Kaladi Brothers, one that we've already done a review on and one more that's coming up, uh, probably next episode maybe. And then we have another Alaskan, we'll be done with them, but I'm going to be disappointed because my trips to Alaska are probably pretty much over with as the reason I go to Alaska is my grandkids live up there and they are moving uh, back to Europe. They were in Europe, they moved to Alaska and now they're going back to Europe. So uh, that'll just bring a whole bunch of European coffee into the, uh, the show once the pandemic's over and I can start traveling. But we're just about to the end of our Alaskan coffee. And so that's kind of sad because it's been a, a fun ride with them. Uh, the, all the different uh, styles of coffee that we got up there. But let me know what you think about um, Kaladi Brothers. Have you had them before? Are they available anywhere in the lower 48? If they are, I'm assuming it's going to be Washington State somewhere, uh, Seattle area. Uh, they have um, a couple different uh, uh, places in uh, Alaska or in uh, Seattle. I think they have two stores in Seattle, but whether you can get it in grocery stores, I don't know. There is a guy that worked with them for quite some time. He was a partner, um, came on and helped them out and stuff. And then he left and he opened um, Kaladi Coffee, same spelling, uh, Kaladi Coffee in Denver. So that's going to be interesting. I do go to Denver quite a bit um, for various reasons. And so I will definitely search that place out next time I go, hopefully in a couple months, and pick up some beans there and maybe even get a story from him, whether it's the same bean, it's the same grind and, and roasting and whatever, or if it's just uh, a borrow of the name. So if you know, let us know. There's a Kaladi in Denver. But Kaladi Brothers is Alaskan and I think uh, got a couple places in Seattle. Pretty good for 14 bucks. I would definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, tell us what other styles of Kaladi Brothers you have. Do you like Kaladi Brothers? Um, how do you compare it to other um, kind of bigger chains like Starbucks, Community, stuff like that. Uh, I think this is way better. Sorry. Uh, way better than Starbucks and Community and uh, what's another big, you know, that, that's not like Folgers or Maxwell House, uh, other big uh, like restaurant style coffees. So tell us what you think. Make sure you check out all of our other videos Monday, Tuesday and Thursdays. Uh, Mondays is Oddities where we do different liquors, rums, tequilas, uh, I don't know, vodkas, liqueurs, gins. Tuesdays and Thursdays is our whiskey days. And then of course, Friday is our uh, cocktail days. And that's pretty much becoming one of our biggest uh, draws. People are really liking the different cocktails that Cody and I come up with. So make sure you hit those. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Please subscribe so you know what videos are coming up. Most of you that watch our videos aren't subscribed and we'd like to um, know exactly the direction we should go. So make sure you subscribe and leave some comments below and we'll see you next time. Stay warm guys. Bye.